Well, today is the final Friday for Lenten fish fries. They are a lifeline for organizations like churches and fire departments that rely on them for funding. And this year's are especially important since COVID-19 canceled most of last year's fish fries. Paul Martino had the very difficult assignment of sampling this year's offering. Let's check it with him live right now in North Braddock. Paul, how's the fish there? Kim, it's uh, pretty good. So good, in fact, that North Braddock is sold out. They're out of fish. Sorry, folks. Uh, and that's good news because these fish fries are vital for funding emergency services in many of our communities. It's the sound of tasty fish being fried up. It's also the sound of funding that keeps the doors of the Sharpsburg Volunteer Fire Department open. Without the private donation of fundraiser, we would not be able to operate department and have uh, equipment necessary to respond to emergencies in our community. Last year, Sharpsburg's fish fry and all fundraisers were canceled. They relied on help from the borough for funding. Normally we would participate in our town-wide community uh, open streets and that was canceled this year. Our fish fry was canceled last year. Uh, our fund drive that we mailed to individuals was down because people were laid off. Same story in North Braddock where they dipped into their savings to keep their doors open. We were closed down and, and everything else that made money for the department was closed down. Our club was closed down so we didn't have any income whatsoever coming in. While this year's fish fries are limited to just carry out, it appears the community is still coming through. They're enjoying the fish and supporting their firefighter. Supporting the community, they've done a great job over the last 20 plus years and uh, come back every year. And despite that limit of just carry out, these volunteer firefighters saying they're doing pretty well with donations this year. And that's good news because it allows these volunteer fire departments to continue to protect their communities. Live in North Braddock, Paul Martino, KDKA News.